dear guest, lady and gentlemen, it has been it has been a pleasure to join the AKT conference. At first, I would like to thank Professor Q for the invitation. So I have the opportunity to present with you our research entitled Endeavor in Slashing Prevent Viral Liver Disease to a Rare Disease in Taiwan, Achievement and Challenges. This slide just show my disclosure. Next slide. As shown in this slide, the, the uh, disease load of the chronic viral hepatitis, uh, as estimated by WHO, uh, the death toll every year is about 1.5 million a, a year. And more importantly, among the four major chronic uh, infection, uh, <coughs> emphasized by the WHO, such as HIV, tuberculosis, malaria, and viral hepatitis. From year 1990 to year 2013, there is a clear and a continuous rising of death toll due to the chronic viral hepatitis as shown by the, the purple line. In contrast, the other three major infection diseases, the death toll, continue to decline. Therefore, the importance of the chronic viral hepatitis cannot be overemphasized in the world while. The chronic viral hepatitis constitutes two major uh, diseases. The first is the uh, hepatitis B. At, at, at the present, the pre prevalence of the hepatitis B is still high. Uh, it, has, it has been estimated around two, uh, 250 million people uh, living with hep hepatitis B. And more importantly, the majority of chronic hepatitis B patients reside, uh, <coughs> residing in Asia or the Africa. Hepatitis B virus is actually a quite simple virus. It's a, about the a size of 3.2 kilo base in length and with four open open uh, reading frame. Here is an electron micro, microscope picture of the virus. And within uh, its uh, short uh, genome, uh, the virus encodes only four proteins, viral cap, uh, core protein, the capsid, viral enveloper protein, the service protein, viral polymerase for replication, and uh, X protein essential for the viral uh, tra uh, transcription. Even though uh, the virus genome is, is, uh, is very small, uh, <coughs> but it really poses a very serious health threat uh, to, the, uh, to the human population. In Taiwan, <coughs> uh, my mentor, Professor Song, conducted a population uh, zero epidemiolo epidemiology study about the prevalence of hepatitis B uh, in the population. He, he found for the uh, population in, <coughs> in Taiwan before year 1984, no matter what's the age, from the uh, young children to adult, even to the old uh, senior people, the hepatitis B carrier rate uh, is around 20 to 10 percent. So it's much, it's a very much common disease, probably more common than uh, <coughs> uh, hypertension or, or, or diabetes. Therefore, therefore it, it's, uh, it causes a, a significant uh, 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 disease in the Taiwan. For the uh, hepatitis B patient, if they uh, do not receive any treatment, uh, follow, follow them to the life, uh, <coughs> to the, to, uh, to the life long, then the risk of the HCC 
uh, can for, uh, for the male hepatitis B carrier can increase to thirty percent. For the female, it's about ten percent. Mm -hmm. That is to say, for the chronic hepatitis B carrier, uh, about one quarter of them will succumb to uh, liver cancer if there's no f uh, treatment. Because this is so important, therefore we start <coughs> the uh, universal HPV vaccination program from the year 19, uh, 1984. As shown this slide, before the, be <coughs> for the, for the, for the young, uh, young uh, children, uh, the, the hepatitis B carrier rate before the vaccination here is, is, is as shown in the year 1984. The carrier rate is about 10%. However, 20 years after the vaccination, the hepatitis B carrier rate in the vaccinated cohort, this is, is mean the, the, uh, the uh, teenager or, or children younger than 20 years old, the hepatitis B carrier rate dropped to about 0.1%. Uh, to 0.5 percent. <coughs> so this is a significant reduction of the of the hepatitis B carrier in Taiwan after the uh, HBV vaccination. And the interesting point is, if you reduce uh, the hepatitis B carrier in this population, uh, can we uh, reduce the liver cancer incidence among the children? And the, and the answer is yes. Uh, <coughs> we follow the, the uh, HCC incidence among the children from the year <coughs> 1975 to year around uh, year <coughs> 19, uh, 19, uh, 1987. The HCC incidence in the childhood declined steadily uh, from the <coughs> from the 10,000 uh, point uh, six drop to 10,000 po uh, uh, point, point 0.1 or point, point 0.2. So this is the first uh, case. Through the, through in the, in the medical history, through the vaccination against virus infection and the resulting in a, re a reduce of the uh, 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 cancer incidence. So it's a milestone in the medical history. However, <coughs> we still have a large population all, all, uh, all the adult people, they carry the virus and they cannot be benefited by, from the hepatitis B vaccination. This group of the patient, usually they will suffer uh, a, a repeat episode of the, of the chronic hepatitis uh, uh, from year 20, 20 years old to maybe 30 or 40 years old. old. And this repeat cycle of the, of the viral hepatitis eventually will cause uh, <coughs> severe fibrosis and, the, and, the, and the even fibro uh, cirrhosis. As shown in this slide, uh, after decades of the chronic hepatitis, the, the liver will, will suffer <coughs> many damage and uh, respond uh, with uh, fibro the, the wound healing, such as fibrosis. And the extensive fibrosis will lead to a very firm heart, liver, so-called the cirrhosis. Uh, <coughs> the, <coughs> the cirrhotic liver uh, may, uh, may have a compromise in their function. And, uh, and uh, <coughs> to the other end, among the cirrhosis liver, it's uh, fertile to uh, develop the liver cancer every uh, year. About 3% of the cirrhotic patient can progress into the liver cancer. And the liver cancer is a rapidly uh, <coughs> progress uh, malignancy and, the, and with a very short uh, survival. Therefore, <coughs> chronic hepatitis B patient really need the uh, treatment. Uh, so the hepatitis, what uh, currently the, main, the mainstream for the chronic viral hepatitis B therapy it's, it's a, it's a viral reverse transcriptase inhibitor. As shown in this slide, hepatitis B virus after infection, the hepatocyte, viral DNA will be converted uh, 
by the human cellular system to a, a, a CCC form, a, a third close uh, covalent link CCC DNA. It, it resides in the in the uh, nucleus of the infected hepatocyte and serve as a template to translate, transcribe viral RNA and viral protein. And the, and the, <coughs> the viral pro, uh, pre-genomic RNA will be encapsulated within to the capsid and then reverse transcribe from the RNA to the DNA and then and finally release into uh, uh, circulation. Because, because the HBV replication also through the reverse transcriptase, therefore many <coughs> uh, re reverse transcriptase inhibitor has been adopted and applied to block the viral replication and uh, to stop the virus uh, <coughs> To, uh, to produce the uh, progeny virus. So the, so uh, chronic hepatitis B patient, they, will re they can now receive the viral reverse transcriptase inhibit. And, uh, and by taking this drug, uh, the HPV replication will be stopped. And the, the, uh, the, uh, the viral load in the blood of the patient will decline to undetectable level. And such a control of the viral production improved the liver fibrosis, as shown in this slide. So for, for, the, for the hepatitis B patient, long-term inflammation will leading to the liver regeneration and also fibrosis, as indicating by this liver biopsy sample stain by, by special, uh, special technique. And the uh, blue color indicating the extent of the fibrotic tissue. After the treatment, five years later, uh, this is the same bio the biopsy from the same patient. Uh, clearly suggesting after the treatment, the fibrosis regress significantly. So therefore, the long-term nuclear acid, uh, uh, nucleoside analog therapy, this means the viral reverse transcriptase inhibit resulting in a regression of liver fibrosis or cirrhosis and also reducing viral related uh, deaths. Therefore, uh, the drug has been uh, widely applied to the chronic hepatitis B population in the world. Uh, the next topic I would like to discuss with you, the second major chronic viral hepatitis, namely uh, hepatitis C, C virus. <laughs> it it estimates about 90 million of the hepatitis C carrier in the in the world in the world in the world, the prevalence usually about one percent. However, however, in, in Taiwan, the, the prevalence is much higher, about three to four percent. So this is a, also an important a disease load in Taiwan. <coughs> the, the control of hepatitis C starts from the post -trans transfusion hepatitis. <coughs> Before we can detect hepatitis B, the, the blood transfusion cause, causing a post transfusion hepatitis among 30% uh, of the recipient. After we screen the chronic uh, the hepatitis B, the PTH post, -transf post -trans transfusion hepatitis incidence drop to about 5% five, 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 uh, five after the screening for the hepatitis C. Uh, the, the uh, the post transfusion hepatitis further declined to about 0.3%. So, the blood donor screening for hepatitis C already, uh, since year 1990, already saved millions of new infections. Other than this, <coughs> the treatment of chronic hepatitis C uh, improved dramatically since the year 1990. So, Initially, uh, the interferon-based therapy can achieve about 50% of the, of, of the, of the, of the uh, HCV cure among the patient. But recently, the small molecule, small, the so-called directed acting agent, that's against viral uh, protease or viral polymers, it has, has been a very successful and very effective in clearing the uh, hepatitis C. The cure rate 
uh, now is about close to 97 to or even 99 percent if the patient complete the, uh, the treatment uh, for five, uh, 8 to 12 weeks. Therefore, in Taiwan, <coughs> the control of the chronic hepatitis B by blood donor screening and uh, uh, active vaccination and uh, the treatment. Also, uh, the blood uh, screening for the blood donor against the hepatitis C and the active treatment for the chronic hepatitis C, C in Taiwan resulted in a very uh, uh, significant decline of the, of the liver <coughs> related deaths and also the uh, liver cancer incidence. For example, in the, in the year uh, 2001, the, uh, the, uh, the death cause of the cirrhosis or hepatic failure ranked number six among the 10 leading cause of deaths in Taiwan. But after uh, active treatment uh, uh, launch in the year uh, 2003, we see a, a significant decline of the of the uh, of the uh, liver related uh, uh, of the deaths due to cirrhosis and uh, hepatic failure. Now its its rank dropped to the number ten. At the same time, we already we, we also found the HCC instance uh, <coughs> in the in the in the male declined uh, up since year two thousand and six. And the same incident and same decline also noted in the female. Therefore, the control of the chronic viral hepatitis related liver deaths and the cancer uh, improved uh, dramatically in the last 20 years. Despite of this achievement, we face some challenge. In the hepatitis B virus, the, ne the next generation challenge of the universal HPV vaccination. Uh, uh, still, uh, uh, still lingers on. For example, in the Taiwan, uh, the, the, for the uh, vaccination cohort, the hepatitis B carrier rate dropped about two, uh, 0.5 percent uh, in the in the young population. This is much better than uh, adult population. They they don't receive the uh, vaccination. The, the carrier rate is about, is about six. Uh, 6.7 percent. So the decline is about a 90 percent reduction. However, when we compare the hepatitis B carrier rate in the children in Japan, uh, they, <coughs> in Japan, the young children, the hepatitis B carrier rate, rate is 0.03 percent. <coughs> it's only one tenth of the of the Taiwan uh, of the, uh, the the children or the teenager in Taiwan. It's only one percent. It's only ten per, ten percent lower than than Taiwan. This is to say there's a long way to go <coughs> to uh, to uh, to control uh, the viral hepatitis B in 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 Taiwan. However, the vaccination will face uh, many problems. Now, especially the vaccination hesitancy. This is a rising issue from uh, Europe and and. Uh, and the USA, but also in in uh, in Asia, in order to control uh, hepatitis B, we need to maintain a very active and vigilant hepatitis B vaccination program. How, but in order to overcome the vaccination uh, hesitance, other than the public campaign edu edu and education, we also need a more friendly, convenient, or effective and simple vaccine te vaccine technology. So the people and, and the parents can uh, can get their children to to receive the therapy. In addition, <coughs> the hepatitis B uh, therapy also need to improve, as shown uh, uh, this slide before. Now, the current treatment rely on the reverse transcriptase inhibitor. Let us stop. That are working at this stage, so <coughs> so after the taking the drug, the virus cannot produce the uh, its progeny. But however, you can appreciate the <coughs> the reverse transcriptase cannot uh, remove the viral CCC DNA in the infected in the in the nucleus or infected hepatocyte. So the CCC DNA persists. Uh, 
in in the in the infected hypothesis, despite uh, the the uh, the reverse trans transcriptase inhibitor treatment, and and also the CCD cDNA continue to transcribe viral RNA and produce uh, the virus antigen. As shown in this slide, for, uh, for, uh, we take, take took uh, took the biopsy from the the patient. This is the baseline after the uh, <coughs> reverse transcriptase, or about one year after the reverse transcriptase inhibitor therapy, and then uh, and the, the biopsy stands for the viral protein, and it is shown very clearly. <coughs> before the uh, before the therapy, their local hepatocyte express virus uh, service antigen, but one year after the treatment. There's still a lot of hepatocyte, significant proportion of hepatocyte expressing the uh, viral uh, service antigen. So this is consistent with with uh, <coughs> with our uh, with the previous uh, slide. Reverse transcriptase inhibit the treatment can only reduce the uh, the the production uh, of the uh, hepatitis B virus, but cannot eliminate uh, the, the, the virus from the infected hepatocyte. Therefore, the drug has to, has to be taken for a long time and uh, even uh, a lifetime. But unfortunately, uh, <coughs> after the long-term therapy, the adherence uh, usually declined uh, rapidly, even in uh, many developed countries. What, uh, the, the adherence rate is only about 50%. Therefore, we have the, another challenge is a, a curative therapy for hepatitis B is in need. Now there are many, uh, many uh, approach trying to improve the hepatitis B therapy, either block the viral infection or uh, <coughs> reduce the vi uh, virus messenger RNA expression by sRNA eh, or uh, through the silencing of the, of the CCC DNA or the immunotherapy. However, this is just indicating that new technology probably are required in order to curative, uh, cure, cure the chronic hepatitis B virus. And in our group, <coughs> we also try to search for the new virus target. Uh, uh, about 30 years ago, we found the HBV uh, <coughs> CD, uh, the, uh, CCC DNA can transcribe uh, the, the major four uh, uh, viral RNA to encoding the, uh, the, the four operating frame for, uh, as, as stated before. However, this uh, pre-genomic RNA can also splice and to, to generate a series of uh, splice RNA. And we are interested whether this splice RNA is functional in, in the hepatitis B life cycle. So, so a few years ago, we produced uh, <coughs> the virus, uh, the mutant virus, uh, uh, <coughs> that cannot uh, produce, generate uh, the splice RNA. And it, but however, in the uh, transfection system, such mutant st still can produce the virus particle. So we, we inoculate the HBV virion from the Y-type uh, 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 DNA transfected uh, cell line or from the all the viral, <coughs> uh, from the uh, 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 splicing deficiency, HBV transfect uh, cell line. So these two virus, when in, uh, inoculated the human hepatocyte chimera mice, the white uh, the the viral from the white type uh, DNA are very are very infectious, and and uh, <coughs> are from the day two to the day twelve. After the after the uh, infection, the viral DNA increased rapidly in the inoculated chimera mice. But in contrast, the HBV virus from uh, the splicing deficiency uh, uh, DNA, the infectivity uh, declined much, uh, <coughs> uh, declined significantly. The the viral titer is only 100 to 1,000 uh, 1, low than the than the white. Uh, virion from the Y type DNA. So our study indicated the HBV splice RNA may be functionally important uh, during the HBV infection. Therefore, it's 
if they can encode uh, some viral protein, they may become a new target for the viral uh, <coughs> for the antiviral therapy. Regarding the hepatitis C, <coughs> now currently in Taiwan, about fifty percent of the chronic hepatitis C patient receives the anti therapy and the cure. However, <coughs> this is only fifty percent of the patient aware of their uh, their hepatitis C status. So they come to uh, the hospital, come to the clinic uh, seeking uh, antiviral therapy. But that is to say about 40 to 50 percent of patients, they are not aware and they cannot, they will not go to the, go to the hospital and uh, asking for the treatment. So, thi so this, is, this is a <coughs> survey in Taiwan uh, clearly indicating the awareness is only about 50 percent. So the, the, there is a challenge how to do this. So in the <coughs> year uh, 2020, uh, uh, <coughs> the USA uh, recommended screening all the people for, uh, for uh, uh, chronic hepatitis C. They re <coughs> but, this, but the most important uh, challenge or important uh, <coughs> barrier is how we can uh, make every people every individual aware of their uh, hepatitis C or hepatitis B status. Therefore, a new information technology to reach individual for awareness legally and safety is probably very important for all infectious disease control. Recently, uh, the acute hepatitis C in uh, United States actually increased from uh, uh, 10,000 a year to about 35,000 per year. This is major due to the opioid endemic in the, in the, in the, in the last 10 years. Therefore, <coughs> the, <coughs> for the drug abuser or the opioid addic addiction people, the uh, 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 this, this population uh, has a high prevalence of hepatitis C infection. And after even after cure, they, st they ha still have a chance to be reinfected by the hepatitis C again. Therefore, the hepatitis C vaccine is necessary to control uh, the, the, <coughs> the, the HCV infection. But this is a very serious and a very difficult challenge uh, for, uh, for the HCV uh, vaccine development, probably as difficult as the HIV vaccine development. Finally, every, every Everyone now is aware the rampaging COVID-19 pandemic this year. Now the death toll uh, worldwide uh, due to the COVID-19 is about 1.3 million at, at the present. However, it is uh, it's only equivalent to the one year death toll uh, uh, due to the chronic uh, viral hepatitis. Therefore, the chronic viral hepatitis is an entrenched, entrenched and also silent pandemic uh, needs our continuous attention and also asking for a better technology uh, improvement to, uh, to control. Finally, I would like to uh, thank my colleague, my mentor and my colleague in the uh, Hepatitis Research Center and the National Taiwan U University and the hospital. And finally, I want to thank you for your attention.